Mic check, one, two. Okay, so if you're here with me right now, you've probably already experienced stage one, the nightmares. You're driving along with your friends, you're driving along with your family, and your pedal in your Toyota gets stuck in the floor. You start accelerating at a rapid rate. You hit the brakes, but they fade, and they can't stop you. You forget about shifting into neutral. You start flying along at well over 100 miles an hour, jumping over hills. And then you lose control of the car, you crash, and you die. Then you wake up in a sweat and realize that you have to do something. But what? You go to Toyota to get the fix for the unintended acceleration thing. What you should do is what you're doing right now, and that's watching this video. Uh, you should upgrade your braking system so that it won't fade in a situation like that. If the Toyota unintended acceleration is true, you want to make sure that you have adequate brakes. What I see on a lot of Toyota Camry uh, forums is people like to choose components that last. You should not do that for brake components. Uh, brake components are very important to your safety. I guess if your life is only worth $20, yeah, go ahead, get the cheaper pads. But uh, stop rear-ending me, go crash into the pole on the side of the road. Thanks. I get these, these are the Hawk HPS pads. They are a little bit, you know, better than a standard pad, they won't fade. People use these for autocross and stuff, they don't make any more noise than stock, they make a little bit more dust, but uh, in my experience they've been really great. The other thing that I like to do is flush my system with uh, Super Blue brake fluid. Brake fluid is important because if your brake fluid has a low boiling point, uh, it can boil and then your pedal can go to the floor and then you can lose your brakes that way as well. This uh, fluid has a boiling point of 536 degrees Fahrenheit and the wet boiling point of 388 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's German too, so it, you know it has to be great, right? Yep. I do not have rotors on the table. Why is that? Those slotted rotors that you're buying don't really do much. Maybe they look cool, but they're not helping you. And since you're combining them with cheap pads, they really don't do much. So what you should do, take your factory rotor, get it turned, then get a decent set of pads, like these uh, Hawk HPS pads. Make sure that you bleed your brakes as well, because you don't want your pedal going to the floor. If your throttle does get stuck, you want your brakes to be able to overpower your engine. Um, they found that the OEM brake components can overpower the engine, but if you're upgrading your car with cheap aftermarket stuff, uh, like I see a lot of Camry owners doing, you're just asking for trouble. So don't do that. Your life is worth $20, and so is mine. I don't want you hitting me. If you wanna see the how-to on how to install these, I have that, I will have that posted in a later video.